in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can utilize the power of Scribble across different apps. So working in one app and using the power of Scribble to transfer some of the information to somewhere else. So I'm going to jump into notes. Let's imagine that we're doing some work um, on parachute design. And I'm thinking about like what is the purpose of, of this? So I'm just going to use the, the Scribble feature just to be able to make some notes. So um, i just make sure I've got my text, uh, my drawing on the screen. Um, and I'm going to go for the drawing as opposed to the text tool at the moment. So it does come out as handwritten notes. So very quickly, so um, my parachute is for a Lego character to land safely. There we go. So you, know, you can imagine children coming up with lots of different ideas of those things. But the thing is, I now want to use this in, in a pages document where you know the teacher has asked me to actually you know share those thoughts. So here's my um, my creation, my my parachute design workbook. Um, and this is the section over here where I needed to add in those thoughts. But I've kind of already done that here. So do do I duplicate it or do I select that text and then actually use that text? So I'm gonna to go to copy as text and I'm gonna tap into this box and I'm just going to paste the text. And now you can see that that text has just pasted directly across. Um, so it's taken my handwritten notes. I don't have to retype it. I don't have to rewrite it into that box. I've just taken the notes that I might have done in my brainstorming activity as I'm just sort of thinking about different things, working with a group. And then when it comes to formalizing it, I just copy and pasted it across. But you know what? I want it to look a little bit um, more formal. So therefore, I want it to go in as text but I haven't had to retype the text. So it's a really, really nice um, saving time feature so that you can just be in the flow of doing your work. You know, you can make your notes over here, whatever it might be, draw your shapes, etc. cetera. Um, and, and it's just a case of just taking that um, and just pasting it across to wherever you, you think it needs to go. Okay, so again, I know you can do squares, etc. cetera, um, if you just draw them directly into pages. Um, but, but if I'm using notes as that kind of uh, thought um, ideation space, then I don't have to recreate it in pages, which is, again, just really good for time saving. So obviously we can use that across other apps as well. It's the, the case of selecting the text, selecting the object. It gets stored obviously into the device's memory so that you can paste it anywhere else. So in this instance, I've used pages, but it could go into Keynote. It could go, you know, it could go anywhere depending on where you're working. One other thing to highlight whilst we're here is the options to utilize some of these tools within existing tools that exist within Notes. So for example, if I now go to take a photo um, on my device, I'm just gonna take a photo of where I'm currently working, which is just my, my boring desk. Um, so I'm gonna tap on take photo. Let's take a photo of the mouse on my desk and go to use photo. Now nothing's changed here, um, I still have that photo added to the note. I can still tap on the note and I can still use markup, but there's some subtle changes within markup now that also help because that feature of doing shape recognition exists within markup as well. So if I just, I'll make the pen a little bit thicker and make it a different color. So now if I circle something on the screen and pause, it will turn it into that shape as well. So subtle things, just subtle changes. Um, you can obviously write directly on, um, and again, you can select the text. Now at this point, it's not going to select the text and turn it into um, typed text, but I can copy that text um, and use that somewhere else. So if I jump back out and tap on the screen as if I'm typing and tap on paste, it's gonna take that paste, um, that sorry, pasted text, and it's gonna add that in for me. He says, there we go. So that's added now onto the screen. So you can, you know, copy the text that you've drawn somewhere and, and use it somewhere else. Again, I've just used basic hello, but it could be a picture that you've drawn, could be something you've drawn uh, within this note, but you want to use that in, in other notes. So again, time-saving elements um, of how to do those things. So again, markup has obviously just embraced the ability for Scribble to be able to do certain things and just embedded it in. I think, again, that's just a nice touch if you are trying to identify things, you know, to be able to add that circle you could do it before by adding shapes using the pencil just means that that shape recognition thing exists for you and just speeds up the process so there we go as always please do leave some comments if you've got any thoughts on how scribble is going to change things for you when it comes to um, note taking um, and 
you know, please look forward to some of our future videos on some of the other cool things that I think we're going to find um, as we explore iPad OS 14.